All right, so let's have a look at how to install and license SketchUp. Now, as it stands in January 2018, there's actually three different versions of SketchUp that you can get involved with. Now, the first one, which is the main one, is SketchUp Pro. This is the paid for version of SketchUp. If you do buy this off a reseller or distributor, they will then send you a, an authorization code and a serial number that you will get via an email. You also get SketchUp Make, which is the old free version. And then you also get SketchUp Free, which is now the web version. And now comes the popular question, who should use what? So SketchUp Pro is the fullest version of SketchUp, and this is used for commercial use. So if you make any money off of your SketchUp projects, you should be paying for SketchUp. If you are new to the world of 3D design or just want to try out SketchUp, I would recommend you start off with either the web version or SketchUp Make. The benefit of using the free web version of SketchUp means there's nothing to install. You can simply just click and launch the web browser. Okay, so the main focus of this video is to install the pro version of SketchUp, but I just briefly want to discuss the other two versions as well. Right, so the method I like to use to get to uh, installing SketchUp is by simply Googling uh, my personal blog, Zulu, And if I go to that blog on the left hand side, if you go and click on downloads, I've consolidated everything in one place. So if I scroll down, this is where I can download Pro, Make, and also the SketchUp Viewer. This is where the free web version of uh, SketchUp is. There's the extension warehouse, also the 3D warehouse, and also the free version of Google Earth. So let's jump straight in and go and look at downloading SketchUp. Right, so the first one I want to talk about is SketchUp Make 2017. This has been discontinued. You'll notice that there isn't a SketchUp Make 2018. So this is where they've moved it from the free desktop version to the free web version. So I think it's safe to say that we are now in the middle of a transition period. So SketchUp Make is still available, but only in 2017. But also to get to the free web version, if I just jump back, I can go and click on this link, which will take me to the free web version. We're now having a brief look at SketchUp Free. So this is the new interface that came out of the beta uh, in the beginning of this year. And you'll notice the familiar tools on the left-hand side. The interface is a little bit different. Um, and also on the right-hand side, you, you can see your various trays and so forth. I've not played with this a lot myself, but I've noticed that it should be pretty straightforward just modeling things quite quickly and easily. Um, as you can see there, all your shortcut tools still work. And if you do want to save this or download this, you could go and click on this icon. You can download your SketchUp files or your 3D printing files. You can also do a save as, or you can also save this to your Trimble Connect account. All right, now installing SketchUp Pro 2018. I'm going to go for the Windows 64 bit. So I'm simply going to click on download. And it's downloading the uh, .exe file. Okay, after about 45 seconds, this is ready now to be opened. Perfect, and we now have SketchUp 2018 installed. So I'm just gonna fire it straight off the desktop here. And click start using SketchUp straight away. And I'm straight into SketchUp 2018. Okay, so now we're gonna get back to the user interface and just why things are where they are and what they all mean. Things like the trays, the toolbars, uh, the ground color, the sky color, the scale figure, and all of these icons and so forth. So the user setup or the user interface, uh, I will cover that in a later uh, video. But for now, we're just gonna focus on licensing SketchUp. Now remember, if you did install SketchUp Make 2017, that you would get the pro version for the first 30 days, and then after that will expire, and then you just get to use SketchUp Make. But for now, we're to focus on licensing your SketchUp Pro 2018. So I'm going to go to help and I'm just going to go and click on license to add a license. All right, so while your trial run is still active, you can go to help and you can go and add a license. But what I've done now is I already had a license added. So I removed the license to start fresh like you guys. And if you accidentally let the 30 day trial run out, you don't get SketchUp Make anymore, so the free version. So you have to go through this method. Otherwise you would have just gone help and add license. But what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna add a license after my 30 days have expired. So you just get this warning up. And in this window, I'm just gonna go and click on add license. 
Right, so now if you've gotten in touch with a reseller or distributor and you've bought SketchUp Pro, you would have received an email from them. And this is pretty much what the email would look like. And in the email, they will give you a serial number and an authorization code. And those are the two key things you need to activate your SketchUp Pro after the 30 days. If you were using SketchUp 2017 Make, you do not get this, you do not need this. Exactly the same for the web version of SketchUp as well. I've now typed in my codes and I'm ready to add the license and start SketchUp. Here we've got the various SketchUp license types. So if you need any more information on this, just get in contact with us. Okay, so I will do a deep dive in the uh, SketchUp user interface in a different video, but for now, I just wanna show you the basics of actually setting up uh, SketchUp initially. So the first thing I like to do is I like to go to Window, and then I go to Preferences, and if I go to Workspaces, I do not like to use the, uh, the large tool button. So I normally turn that off, click OK, and it just means you've got a bit more space around the sides and so forth. Then choosing the toolbars, I prefer initially to go to View, Toolbars, and just pick the 10 or 20 that you want to use. Uh, if I just go and pick a few random ones, you'll see it docks it on the sides or at the top sometimes. You, these can be moved. I can just drag them around to really wherever I want them to be. I'm just going to drag this one up. After I've chosen my main ones, after that I will then go and right click anywhere on the any toolbar really uh, and I can go and choose more so I can potentially put the sandbox tool set down at the bottom for instance. Okay, and the final thing you want to be aware of is just the template. Uh, normally when people install SketchUp for the first time, they get quite excited. They just click yes, go, start, and uh, they straight in. Um, so what I'm going to show you is just the template that we're currently working in. Um, I have no idea if this is meters, millimeters, feet, or inches. So what you could do is you could go to Window, you can go to Preferences, and in there you should see your templates. So these are the default templates that get installed with SketchUp initially. You can create your own templates as well if you want. Uh, personally, I prefer to go to the construction documentation millimeter so if I just click OK nothing will happen I would have to go file a new it refreshes and it loads I'm now in 2d uh, which means I can start maybe drawing my floor plans and I can still orbit using my mouse uh, into a 3d environment if I want to save my own templates I could just go to file and save as templates and the final two useful bits of information that you might want to be aware of here is you can also download a quick reference card and finally, on the CAD Zulu blog, in the SketchUp section, there is a link to take you to the SketchUp website to show you what the difference between SketchUp Free and SketchUp Pro is. And that's everything I'm going to cover with the how to install and license SketchUp Pro segment. Thanks for watching.